YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Graven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens, they got some great news. Some really great news. And then they got some yeah, not so great news. We're going to get into all of that. Um, but first and foremost, Lamar Jackson, his rushing record, it will not be broken. His single season rushing record will not be broken because it was looking like Justin Fields was about to shatter that thing. Uh, but Justin Fields won't be playing in the last game. Therefore, the record remains intact. Another thing too, uh, the schedule, uh, because the, the Ravens were scheduled or are scheduled to play the Cincinnati Bengals this Sunday, uh, it wasn't known whether it was going to be, the game was going to be at one or it was going to be at four, uh, because if the Bengals would have won against the Bills this past Monday, then the game would be at one, and if the Bengals would have lost to the Bills, then the game would have been at four, uh, but obviously with the situation being what it is, uh, the NFL, they scheduled the game to be at 1 p.m. Uh, now, Harbaugh talked about it. In, in his presser today, which we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, but he didn't really say too much of anything, uh, but he did talk about how they just, they don't know right now. They don't know what the status of the, the, the Bengals and Bills game is going to be. The NFL has come out and said it. They don't know what the status of it is going to be, so it's just a wait and see type of thing. Everything for week 18 is on schedule, uh, but as far as that Bills and Bengals game, we just don't know. Obviously, the game itself is not the most important thing. We've been getting more positive updates uh, on DeMarv, so which is that's a really good thing. Uh, so hopefully those positive updates, they uh, continue. So now, speaking of the Ravens, the Ravens, they had some positive updates, especially after watching that game um, against the Steelers uh, last Sunday night. Because um, Brandon Stevens, Brandon Stevens, second-year guy, uh, has shifted from running back to corner slash safety back to safety slash corner this year it's been a lot of mix and matching um but he he had some ups he had some downs this season overall uh, but last game was it was it was a rough one for him and even, even though he did have some ups and downs in that game too but it was probably more downs than ups but it happens not everybody's gonna play their best every single week uh when we go to work we're not our best every single week here when we make a video we don't make our best video every single video it happens stuff happens um so marcus peters him being back at practice today, that was great news for the Ravens. Now, Harbaugh did talk about how both Mar – he talked about it last week, how both Marcus Peters and Calais Campbell, they got a chance to play uh, this week against the Bengals. Now, will they play? I wouldn't count on it. I don't think the Ravens are going to play their starters. Harbaugh did talk about in his press how they're going to be playing to win and all that stuff, and, and they're going to be prepared. To, but I, I don't think they're going to play their starters. But that's just me. What do I know? I don't know much of anything. Uh, but Marcus Peters being back is – a great thing because going into the playoffs Ravens need all the help that they can possibly get they need it and they need it bad um and it's better to have more depth more quality depth obviously Brandon Stevens he he's he started some games in this league uh but being able to have him as a as a depth piece that's a beautiful thing also Daryl Worley he returned uh, to practice as well. So, again, even more depth. It's nice when you can have that. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, and the not-so-great news, as I'm sure you all already know about, already done heard about, uh, Lamar Jackson did not practice today. Now, it is still early in the week, but him not practicing today, you would think that that signals the end of his regular season with the Baltimore Ravens. And like we discussed in the video earlier today, a lot of people think that his tenor is up with the Ravens this year. A lot of people feel like he's already played his last down uh, as a Baltimore Raven for this season and possibly even beyond. And of course, this offseason is, is going to be crazy. Uh, but so it's looking like it's going to be Huntley again. Again, Lamar could still come out to practice to tomorrow, Friday, but... But him not practicing today, I, I, I just, I'm not holding out hope for it. I, I just, it ain't looking like it's going down to me. Uh, but we'll see. We won't know officially till we know officially, I guess. Um, but yeah. Some other people that were missing from practice today, besides Lamar Jackson, were Calais Campbell, uh, Ronnie Stanley, J.K. Dobbins, Kevin Zeigler, Deshaun Jackson, Justin Houston. Um, and I don't think those guys are really significant concerns. Um, from them missing practice today because they all, besides Calais Campbell, 
they all just played in the in the last game. So I think they'll be fine. But and I think most of them will probably return to practice tomorrow. So we'll see <laughs> how that goes. But, man, the whole stuff with Lamar is just we don't know, like, what's going on. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's happening. So every day we wait, every day we get a little piece of something. But it just, yeah, that's that. Uh, but anyway, John Harbaugh, he spoke to the media and he um he came up, excuse me, he came out and said that they were preparing to play the best that they can on Sunday. Uh, he also gave praise to the medical people in the whole uh, at the uh, the Bills and Bengals game, uh, which was nice. Uh, he said that both him personally and the Ravens, uh, they reached out to the Bills organization. Uh, so that was nice. Just check on him. He said he got some friends over there and whatnot. So he checked on him and whatnot. So that, that that's a good thing. Um, he talked about how I think somebody asked if this this situation, if it gives like fans and stuff and people around the world just a deeper appreciation of, of the risk of what's involved with these NFL players. Um, and he said it, it, it does. It certainly does. And it, it, that's true. It does. Because this was a wake up call for a lot of people. Something that I mean, we discuss on here a lot of the time, but this was a it was a wake up call for a lot of people on what is what being an NFL player entails. And, and every single time you step on that football field, it is a huge risk. You got 200, 300 pound people flying at you full speed. Yeah, you got a helmet on. Yeah, you got pads on. Yeah, you got all that stuff on. But still, they coming at you full speed. Yeah, the it's, 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 stuff can happen out there, man. It really can. Um, and I, I, was just, I was just listening to, um, I think it was like Cleveland Sports and Garrett Bush from Cleveland Sports. I think that's what the show was called. My apologies if it's not. But he made a really good point. And he talked about that. This is, this is another reason why players, they deserve guaranteed contracts. They deserve, they deserve fully guaranteed contracts because especially when they got like these super low salaries too, but just period because of the risk that's involved with being out there on the football field. So it, it, he made some really good points. Uh, but anyway, Harbaugh, um, again, like we mentioned earlier, he said that he's not sure if the division title is going to be on the line uh, for the, the Ravens Bengals game or not. He said he hadn't heard from the league on it or not. Uh, but then finally, um, he had been asked about Lamar Jackson. Uh, somebody asked if he, they were like, oh, we didn't see Lamar Jackson. Do you expect him to be ready for the postseason? And that's a good question. It's a really good question. Uh, he said, I'm just going to leave all that stuff alone. I'm going to focus on the game and just get ready to coach our guys and have our guys ready to play the game. Now, initially when he said that, I was thinking, oh, okay, all right, shying away from the injury talk. I get it. You don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to say the right thing. You're just not going to say anything. We get it. It's John Harbaugh. That's normally how he operates when it comes to injuries. Um, sure, he probably don't want to get his words twisted or anything like that. Um, but then about the, the part about I'm just and, and just get ready to coach our guys and have our guys ready to play the game. Initially, when I heard that, it just felt like he was sort of uh, alienating Lamar from the Baltimore Ravens. That's what it sounded like at first. Um, but then when he was at, and it, that could be it. Hey, it could not be it. Who, who knows um, But then somebody followed that up And asked about Huntley's shoulder injury Because um, it was said today That Huntley was still dealing with Soreness in his shoulder In his throwing shoulder um, They showed a little clip of uh, him and Harbaugh Talking over on the side and whatnot. Um, so we'll see what happens with that uh, If Huntley's going to be limited or not And Anthony Brown This could be his shot We won't know till we know But he is on the active roster Because they signed him to the active roster last week He took that, 53, that 53rd spot Um so, yeah, we, it'll be one of those things that we wait and see. I'm sure Tyler Huntley's going to do everything in his power in order to play. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. But um, when he was asked about Huntley's shoulder injury, uh, he said he was going to leave all of that stuff alone. So he said it again. Harbaugh doubled down. He said, I'm leaving all that stuff alone. Um, so, yeah, he's leaving all the injury talk alone. But then somebody brought up how it was nice to see Marcus Peters out there on the field. And Harbaugh was like, he just, he just pretty much repeated him. He was like, yeah, it was nice to see Marcus Peters out there on the field. And then right after that, he said, then Calais Campbell, he'll be out there tomorrow. So I'm like, hold on, you, you just said you leaving all that stuff alone. And then you go ahead and tell us Calais Campbell going to be. But it, it, it's all good. It wasn't no big deal. So, yeah, that was that, man. Um, but it's nice getting significant guys back, uh, guys who the Ravens certainly missed. And now I don't think that Calais Campbell – um, he should be that big of a difference maker uh, for the Ravens to give up maybe like 
40, 50 some yards on the ground versus them giving up uh, two, almost 200 yards on the ground. I don't think Calais Campbell should have mattered that much. Uh, and I'm not saying he doesn't matter, but I'm not. I'm saying that his impact, it, it shouldn't be like that. But when he was out, like, yeah, the Ravens got ran all over. Um, so with him getting back, whether it's this Sunday or they hold him out, which I expect them to, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be a, a starter's game. Um, yeah, that's big. But, again, with the guys that were out, with those significant guys that were out, Calais Campbell, we saw Ravens run defense. Marcus Peters out, we saw Brandon Stevens struggle. Because Marlon Humphrey was quiet. We ain't hear nothing from Marlon Humphrey. You, you wouldn't even know that he was playing in the game. Yes, I was about to say yesterday, Sunday night. You wouldn't even know he was playing. And that's a good thing. That's a, that's a great thing. If you don't even know a cornerback is playing, that's a great thing. Because if you know they're playing, <laughs> that means a lot of passes are going their way. Well, it could mean they got a nice pick. They made a nice play. But, yeah, we, we knew Brandon Stevens was playing uh, on Sunday night. But, again, it's part of the process, part of the learning process, part, part of the growth process uh, of an NFL player because it is not an easy job. And, and playing cornerback especially is definitely not an easy job. But, yeah, man, we uh, – just, just, just waiting it out. Like I said earlier, just it's just a waiting process at this point. I mean, it's been a wait, waiting process at this point, but now we're in very scary territory because it's like, all right, Lamar didn't practice on Wednesday. Um, you still got Thursday, Friday, but would he just not? Would his first practice be for the playoffs, for the playoff game, or will it just be? Will he even play in a playoff game? We just, we don't know. We don't know. But for some reason, I don't think Harbaugh does either. 